Go into kind of uh, continuing the topic of your experience from Amazon. So how does that kind of transcend now into your senior year of college, now that you've had an experience with a large company and you're preparing yourself for Deloitte? So how does that kind of change your mindset going into the last couple years of your uh, college you know, experience mm -hmm. uh, to prepare yourself for the real world? I mean, no matter what role you get as an Amazon intern, it could be whether or not you work, at a, work as an area manager intern or as a loss prevention intern or even like a marketing intern or finance, it is very competitive within and they really promote inner growth and they really push everything on you and they really push you to a very high expectation. Mm -hmm. So with that in mind, I think it kind of um, prepared me to really my senior year um, push myself out there and in a way in the case of um, Deloitte mm -hmm. I think once I do start it's gonna push me to really make that network make mm -hmm. that connections and really um, Not be afraid to ask questions because at Amazon asking a question was a great thing yep. Like if you didn't have questions, that's a bad thing on you and kind of going off of that uh, My main philosophy when it comes to college education is I believe that college education itself It's not necessarily that much about the, the learning process that you learn in classrooms But it's more about the opportunity to network in a college campus and uh, your own self-growth. So during your time in undergrad, what would you kind of recommend to undergrad students that they put their emphasis and their time into in undergrad? Uh, because a lot of people do put so much emphasis into studying. It's, it's great to get good grades, but what do you think that students primarily, as successful students as yourself and a leader on campus, what should the students be doing? Um, I recommend that students really put a focus on networking and getting an internship. Because I think that um, parents and everyone else really tells you get an internship, get an internship. Mm -hmm. However, it's not as easy as it looks, especially if you just have grades. You're not gonna, you're likely not to get an internship. You need to have leadership experiences on campus through various organizations, or you need to um, really network. And that's what I recommend the most is to really network and uh, meet the people mm -hmm. that have been, I mean, that have worked in the field, like professors. Um, before I worked at Amazon, um, I actually got an internship with the city of Riverside at the um, Riverside Transportation Department. Okay. And that was all because of a professor that I knew. Mm -hmm. um, he walked by and because I worked at the business office, he was actually telling me like, hey, you know, Bruce, I know you've been struggling finding internships. I know someone that works at this department who's actually hiring some interns right now. Okay. And um, straight there, uh, we just, I went to that um, interview and yep. it wasn't even an interview. She kind of just told me what my job duties were, mm -hmm. told me how much I was getting paid and um, <laughs> just gave me the job on the spot. Mm -hmm. So like with that being considered, all that happened because I was networking and I was putting myself out mm -hmm. there, talking with professors, going after, um, during office hours and really just making a connection with them because, um, and it's another thing about networking I think that people don't understand completely is that it's not just about giving someone your LinkedIn and being like, hey, you know, can I like get an internship at your company exactly, or something yeah. like that? It's about building a connection and actually getting the other person to care about your yep. growth because once that connection happens, they'll fight for you, for you to succeed. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, it's kind of just to tag on to that. I, I do see that quite often as people always talk about networking, mm -hmm. but their focus is what can they get from somebody? And uh, my own yeah. personal philosophy is you have to give value before you get value. Mm -hmm. You can never go to somebody and just ask for something. You have to have a reason. So that's definitely a good approach to it. Um, and now kind of going, uh, continuing to that, um, now you're about to start, you know, at Deloitte. So what are you really looking forward to having uh, a position as a, a BTA at Deloitte? Um, what kind of experiences are you really looking forward to? For all those um, that don't know what BTA is, um, it's business tech analyst at Deloitte. Yep. Um, what I really am looking forward to is just gaining any and all types of experience, whether it be um, working in tech or working as a consultant or um, as an analyst or um, experiencing, I guess, in a way, a new way of networking mm -hmm. and like having a, such a wide range network internationally. Yeah. I think just any opportunities that I see, I'm just I want to just take full advantage of it. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what I'm really looking forward to is because it's because I'm um, a student, a bu any business student, I think getting a job at the big four um, is such a big opportunity that yep. no matter, I mean, what type of um, situation that it presents itself, you really need to be really willing to take forward in it. And I'm, I'm just looking forward to doing that. Mm -hmm. Awesome, man.